Okay, uh, this is a tutorial in which I want to basically record uh, how to fade edges of an image in Photoshop. I've been trying to do this for ages and uh, for some reason or the other couldn't figure it out. And uh, this is uh, more to record what I did for my own future purpose rather than as a tutorial where I show everything very clearly, step by step, slowly and all that. Okay, so ultimately what I uh, want to do is uh, get an image, put that as a header and uh, if that image has a solid background or rather say solid edges, uh, it will look very awkward, it will look very odd. Let me, let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so take a look here. This is the original image and we can see that the edges are very sharp and they don't really blend into the background color. Uh, this background color, by the way, I basically, you know, used a color picker and picked from one of the dark colors which, are, which, are, which is there at the edges of the image. And here the edges are very clear. It doesn't blend into the background color. So the objective of this tutorial is so that the header will look more like this you know everything looks seamless there are no clear uh, edges so the way to do that is let me just uh, okay so this is the original image the header image and the first thing to do is to basically pick a color uh, sorry not the foreground but the background so use the background color picker and pick a color which is near the edges okay say that color uh, click on ok and then since I'm on Mac I'm gonna use command J to duplicate the layer uh, and uh, <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna select this uh, rectangular selection tool and just you know, uh, roughly draw one rectangular area, which will be, say, that much. And as you can see from the info window, its width is about 117 pixels. So, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna change the style to fixed size and set the width to close to 117, say 120. And the height is basically the height of the image. Okay, that you can get from image and image size. Height is 282. Okay, so that is the height of the uh, selection. And I just click my uh, cursor mouse somewhere outside so that it's selected from here to here. And I'm going to hold the shift key and press on the other side. So now I have two selections one on the left one on the right each about uh, 140 pixels in width and height is same as the height of the image uh, this width is not really set in stone or anything you can change it it's basically how much you know it fades from here to here okay so now that we have that next thing you got to do is go to select go to modify go to feather and give the same width uh, the same value as the width of the selection. This selection is 120 pixels wide each selection left and right so I just entered the same amount. It really doesn't matter you can change this amount also I just uh, find, found out that this is okay so press ok and now press command and delete that's all. That would be I guess backspace in Windows command and delete and then press command D to deselect Boom, done. So save this as a JPG, 60 quality. And I already did that. I gave it his na name of uh, 2. So I'm going to just press make 2 in my CSS. And when I come here and refresh, the edges of the edges should blend well. The solid edges should go away. Okay. So that is how we do it. Uh, Okay, to summarize what you have to do is you have to basically select the background color and set it as the color that you want the edges of the left and right edges of the image to fade into and you have to uh, select uh, equal amount of uh, 
pixels on the left side and right side and you have to give it a feather value of uh, 60 or 120 or whatever is the width of the selection, each selection and then hit backspace, done.